Hi everyone, it's Mr. T, Sasua Beach. It's a little bit lively down here. I don't meet too many tourists, but they are here. I just wanted to send a little message about what's coming up. I'm hearing from people that they're talking already about shutting things down again. It doesn't surprise me because they never open things up properly here anyway. You know, this thing about saying, oh, we're not allowed to have a nightlife, it's bullshit. There's your big indicator that it's a scam. You know, take that analogy of fishing for marlin. If it pulls too hard, in other words, us complaining too much, well, then they let a bit of slack go. They had the uh, election coming up and they're trying to be popular. So, yeah, let's just let a few planes in. Let's open up the beaches again so they can go and have a swim. But they still see us as slaves of a system. They still see us as pawns that they can do with whatever the hell they want to do. And if we don't wake the hell up, they will shut it all down again. But this time it'll be much worse because COVID, remember, it stands for Certificate of Vaccination, ID, COVID. And that's the end goal right there of this first large attack on humanity is to get us all to the point where we will take voluntarily the vaccination in order to get access here, there and everywhere. And they're testing us with the masks. You can't get food, you can't travel, you can't move unless you have that face nappy on. And then they see how it goes with the face nappy thing. And then after that, it's going to be some kind of ID with a test, you know, that you've had the test and you can't get access anywhere unless you've been tested. And then it moves on to the next phase of programming people. You don't have rights for movements anywhere or access anywhere unless you have the certificate of vaccination. And Bill Gates and his criminal cabal, they know this. So it's about indoctrinating people enough to just give up their freedoms. And people don't value their freedoms like they did 100, 200 years ago. And that's what made it possible to even get to this point of locking down the world because they know the people in general are ready to become true slaves of a technocracy. So for those of you who value your freedom, your human, civil and property rights, it's time to say, screw this. This is what World War III looks like, the takeover of humanity in every possible way to make what Hitler did or Mao or Stalin did look like kindergarten stuff. And uh, those plans are down the track to completely violate anybody who goes against the grain. The first casualty of war is the truth, so we must keep putting truthful information out and expose these bastards. And then we must use our imaginations to do whatever we can to make their mask thing fail, their social distancing fail. You must challenge anyone, any business owner, any person who's buying into this new scam and making these new normals become the new norm. No thanks. My body, my choice. Have some self-respect. Stand up for your human, civil and property rights. Remember, freedoms are like money. If you don't look after it and if you don't fight for it, you will lose it. Anyway, don't believe the left wing. They are so obviously made the globalists and that's on purpose for the lamestream media. And don't believe the right wing either because they have been put there to play everything against each other. That's the freak show George Carlin was talking about. But we're not paying attention to what's happening behind the stage, which is the new laws coming in, the new rules that you can't do this, you can't do that. And the governments want to stick their noses in everything that you do as a human being and in your business. We must never allow that. So if there's ever a time to fight for your children and grandchildren, then it's now. Otherwise, don't complain later on if you are a slave like what you saw in George Orwell's movie, 1984. Anyway, that's enough from this time. Thanks for listening, and we'll uh, see you in the next one. Take care. Fight hard. Bye-bye.